pits on there. Yeah. Good job. Yeah. All right, here we are, folks. Are you terrified? I'm terrified. Uh, I'm just going to go through this and make sure. I've already opened up the box. So I want to make sure that we had them in there. There we go. Four copies. Can we see that? Ah. So here we go. There we are. Front. Game of Wine Tourism. We're going to call the sacrificial lamb. Make sure everything's included. That's going to be the important thing. Make sure um, the counts are right. I know my wife would probably want to be here for this, but... Oh, the treasured unboxing. All right, first thing that's out of the way, three manuals, three languages, Spanish, uh, German, and English. So there we go. We have the boards. We got the character boards, tokens, character boards, tokens. Uh, that I wasn't terribly worried about. We have a, the board. Oh, I almost lost my mind there for a second. I thought we only had uh, two of these things, but there we are. Got to split them up. I, this was literally the one thing I was terrified about the most. Wow, these are... <laughs> They're really stuck together. All right. Four black character trays. So that's one thing I warn you about. These things are going to be stuck together. I guess that's actually pretty cool how well they do stick together. Because I'm actually quite impressed how well they actually stick together. But yeah, there we go. Boom, bada bing, bada boom. Four character trays. That is a load off my back, I'll tell you that. Uh... Boom, trays, pa pa. So we know what those are gonna look like. There we go. We've got uh, two packages of cards. Obviously these will be split up among these ch chambers and we have cheese purchases here. We've, sorry, sorry, we have, uh, no, I guess cheese, I guess these are not gonna be separated in any reasonable fashion. There's our uh, tourist trays and the reference card. Big butt dice. Um, oh, there it is. <sighs> I was getting worried for a second again. <laughs> There's the, uh, the first player marker. I'm oh, sorry, the day tracker. Uh, so yeah, let's, I'm going to quickly open these up. I'm going to do a head count, make sure these are all good. Okay, so Blue Microbus, Blue Meeple, White Evo, which is my car. A white Meeple, oops, sorry. Red Jeep, Red Meeple, Purple Econo Line, Black Hummer, Silver Tesla, which of course is not a Tesla because I don't, I don't want to get sued. Okay, um, let's make sure these tokens are all good. One, two, three, four, five, six for silver. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Good. So you guys will notice that the red one has one extra disc, and that's because the character has one extra disc as an ability. Um, we got our six for our blue. Bottles. So first things first, there we go. Yada bye, yada bye. And then, then we know that goes right there. So this is not a particularly good arrangement, but one cheese card and sitting in there. These are the upgrades. One more cheese card. More upgrades, another cheese card. More upgrades, cheese. More upgrades, cheese. More upgrades, cheese. It's a strange way that they... Cheese. 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 Will be the rest of the cheese. Some extra cheeses. The purchase card. One purchase card. Blah, 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 blah. Tasting. More cheese. Purchase. Tasting. Tasting. Cheese. Cheese. Purchase. Tasting. Cheese. Cheese. Purchase. I think a pattern here. Cheese, purchase, purchase. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. Okay, 
that's exactly what it should be. 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So that counts perfect. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. That's also perfect. 40. Perfect mundo. All right. Finally, we're going to see this, which is not in a, which is shrink wrapped rather than uh, in a baggie. So there should be one, two, three, four. The reference cards. Your usefulness with them may, may depend. And let's see here. These are I'm not terribly worried about. So you can see some of the some of the backers, of course, you'll recognize your faces. I'll go through them so you can see. I know who that is. That's Norm Coin, one of the producers of the game. Curtis, my good friend Curtis. Uh, yes, that is me and my wife, Nicole. My friend Jeff. That's Jeremy Howard. He's actually a YouTuber. Um, I invited him to be a, a card as well. These are all backers. I don't think that is. I think that's another YouTuber. That's another YouTuber, gamer guy. My friend Bobby. Um, that is also another YouTuber, another influencer. And there's yeah, there are multiples. I think I think they're duplicate. So here we go. And then there's our board. And there are. Three. I'm gonna grab the manual just to see, make sure there's no issues there, or, and no no final surprises. Game of Wine and Tourism English manual, English inside. Yes, unlocked the cooperative and the solo version of the campaign. Uh, we have FAQ there, strategies and tactics, and then we have a symbol legend for those people who want to know what these symbols mean. We have them all, and then finally at the end we have our credits, our Kickstarter backers listed here. Thank you very much. Uh, special thanks to all the wineries that helped us. There you go. Our little copyright notice, designs, but we have our names on there. And then finally, we have to add this extra thing so we can have relief uh, work. And a little thing with uh, showing the board, showing photos of the real region. These photos were taken by my wife. And then finally, a reference. Uh, personally, I like this reference uh, more than the cards, because uh, obviously this tells you everything you need to know. And then that's it. Now, obviously, the question is going to be, uh, what's the timetable? Uh, obviously, we just got this just now, so I can't really give you a timetable yet. Obviously, we're going to start shipping these out as uh, soon as possible. First thing has to do is break down. We've got to break these things up. And, and then we'll decide uh, what's going to ha happen first, um, national, international shipping, or are we going to do our game tour where we deliver the games uh, across the, the majority of, the, of BC? Obviously, if you're a, a local um, backer, if you're in Prince George area, I know there's actually quite a few of you, uh, you'll have the opportunity uh, within a few days to, uh, to get your copy. Uh, if not, we can deliver it to you or you can get it from one of the game stores that'll help us uh, facilitate it. But thank you guys. Our journey is finally coming to an end. Thank you so much for your patience. Um, I got nothing else to say other than thank you from the bottom of my heart. Uh, this has been a, a very, very uh, stressful uh, year just because of all the delays and the additional costs involved. And I've been upfront and honest with all of them. Uh, but uh, hopefully it'll all be worth it for you guys to see the final product and get it in your hands. And uh, you can hopefully enjoy the final product. This is Chris from DSX Mac and I'm signing off.